Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining this webinar. Uh, in this webinar, I will show you how to build your sender reputation faster. So why do we need this method? Okay, uh, the first reason is you will have higher inbox delivery rate. And the second one is you will have long-term success in email marketing because you will have a steady sender reputation. And the third reason is you will warm up your sender domains faster. As you know, usually the warm-up process takes minimum 30 days and you start with a very low volume and then you increase it uh, with a specific, you know, increase day by day for the next 30 days. And if you are lucky with your audience, you get good results at the end of 30 days. But this approach will help you to build your sender reputation faster. So uh, what is sender reputation, by the way? Let me explain for those who doesn't know what sender reputation is. So it's, it's your cult score. Maybe you know in the website world, um, Google ranks each website with a quality score and based on this quality score, you get higher uh, listing on search results. Okay, so if you have low quality score, you are not displayed on the first page of the search results. And if you have higher quality score, you will get listed on the first page. So it's the same with the sender reputation as well. So um, each ISP has its own sender reputation algorithm in some way. And, and unfortunately, this is not a one-time process. So if you build a good sender reputation, you need to protect it. Otherwise, you can lose it at any time. And in most cases, this sender reputation is built over your sender domain and then sender IP addresses. And the reputation of your IP addresses follows the reputation of your sender domain or domains. Uh, before we continue, let me give you a quick background information about myself. My name is Jim and I'm one of the founders at Octet and Sandloop Email Marketing Companies. And I'm in the email marketing space since, you know, 1999 for 21 years and I built one of the first enterprise level and full featured um, MM marketing software and since then we have sold 10 tons of licenses to different verticals all around the world like banks, governments, charities, organizations, in 500 companies, uh, small businesses, digital marketing firms, entrepreneurs, email marketers and so on. And I founded three companies in the email market space. I sold one of them and I'm still running Octet and Sandloop email marketing companies. All right, so let me give you a few examples for sender, different sender reputation cases. So this is a domain reputation metric taken from Google Postmaster dashboard. And as you can see, this sender had a really good sender reputation, but they didn't monitor and maintain their sender reputation and it's stalled in less than three months, right? So uh, you need to be very careful with your sender reputation and you need to monitor it. And this sender, another example for domain reputation, uh, this sender had a problem, but they recovered it and they are keeping it up at high level. This means that their emails are ending in the inbox, not spam folder. So this sender has a stable data reputation, but uh, he is in risk. The reason is at any time, if they don't monitor and maintain their sender reputation, the reputation may collapse to low or bad. And if, if your domain reputation is in low or bad range, it means that most of your emails are ending in the spam folder, okay? And this one is a good example. They have a really good reputation and they are keeping it consistent. And when it comes to IP reputation, here's an example. They, this sender had a really good reputation, but in the last uh, month they had a problem and now they are suffering with IP reputation. So this means that they either introduce new subscribers to the system and they are sending emails to unverified email addresses and they are not engaging or there are spam traps or you know they are having problems with their email content and this is damaging their reputation and this one this sender had a really 
critical problem with their IP address reputations, as you can see, bold red, and then we managed to turn them into yellow and then green, we recovered their reputation. But as you can see here, the delivery volume is not consistent, which means at any time their reputation may collapse again. And this is a good example. They have a really good reputation with their IP addresses. They are protecting their reputation and maintaining it at 100% level. So what do you need to build your uh, sender reputation faster? First of all, you need an email marketing software with dynamic delivery server rerouting in this way. And this rerouting must be done based on recipient activity. And also you need to have an audience that you have sent at least 10 email campaigns in the last 60 days and you know their activities on these email campaigns. And also you need to have list verification and hygiene solution ready. So at the end of this webinar, you will learn how to build your sender reputation faster than ever. And you will learn how to segment your audience based on their activities. And you will learn how to clean email and risky emails from your audience, all right? So, First step is list hygiene. You need to clean your list from role-based email addresses, uh, from email, email email addresses, in other words, hard bounces, and from catch-all email addresses, and lastly, possible spam traps if you can. So in this way, you will have up-to-date and active email list for your warm-up process. And if you are using our solution, uh, we have a built-in integration with Cleanify.io uh, list verification service and you can verify incoming opt-ins, email addresses, uh, without any interaction. This will be done automatically with the Cleanify integration. As you can see in this example, the system has filtered out almost 32,000 email, email addresses coming through opt-in forms and also almost 17,000 email, email addresses through bulk verification processes. And you can use any of the list verification services. These are the solutions that we have tried. And just be careful about their accuracy rate, okay? And if possible, uh, pass your list through more than one list verification service just to be sure that uh, all, uh, almost all uh, email email addresses or risky or catch-all or role-based email addresses are uh, removed. Um, I would be very careful with catch-all email addresses and I would never send an email to catch-all email addresses during the warm-up process. The reason is spam traps are usually from catch-all email addresses. Okay, uh, so just move them to a separate list and use a different delivery server for sending your emails to these catch-all email addresses. And for the second step, uh, it comes audience segmentation and you need to segment your audience based on their activities, okay? So to, to complete this step, you, you need your audience and you need to know about their activities in the last 10 email campaigns. So just to explain this process, you have your email marketing software and when you send your email campaign through your software, uh, your emails will be delivered through your high quality delivery server to your very active and active subs recipients, which I'm going to explain in a few minutes. And your other emails will be delivered through your experiment delivery server to your less active or inactive recipients, all right? So um, yes, so let's create your audience, okay? Uh, I would create an audience for my very active audience members and I would target anyone who have opened at least eight emails in the last 10 emails, okay? So this would be the rule that needs to be set if you were using Octet. And then I would create a second segment for my active audience who have opened at least one email campaign and at most seven email campaigns in the last 10 sent emails. And this is the setting that you need, you need to do in your Octet installation, all right? So once you have these two segments ready, the third step is to run your email campaigns. And once you configure your email marketing software to send uh, your emails to your recipients based on their activities and through different delivery servers, our goal will be 
to move our audience from inactive phase to active and then very active phase. Okay, and this will be done automatically because the, your email marketing software will send uh, through your experiment delivery server to your less active and inactive subscribers. And once they start to open your emails, they will move from here to here and your high quality delivery server will be used to send your emails to this segment, all right? So our goal is to move our subscribers from inactive to very active, okay? And in this way, our high quality delivery server will have a long lasting and consistent sender reputation, including your domain sender reputation and your sender IP addresses. And it will not be affected from the less engagement and engagement fluctuations of your inactive audience members. And it will have an outstanding inbox delivery rate in a very short period of time, okay? And no matter what you send, of course, not spammy email contents, uh, your emails will be delivered to inboxes and you will have very high open rates and conversion rates, of course. And on the other hand, your experiment delivery server will have moderate to low delivery reputation. And you may consider replacing your experiment delivery server time to time if it gets blacklisted or throttled or rate, rate limited due to uh, very low engagement. Um, and, but the purpose of this experiment delivery server is to perform the first touch to your audience members who have not, uh, who haven't taken any action in your emails in the past. If they haven't opened your emails or if they haven't clicked any uh, links inside your emails, then this experiment delivery server will be used to send your emails to them. And whenever they interact with your emails, if they open or if they click a specific link, then your high quality delivery server will be used to uh, deliver your follow-up emails to them and you will see the increasing open rates uh, and increasing sender reputation, all right? So don't forget, our goal is to move our audience from inactive to active and then very active. And we will be using two different delivery servers to reach out to our very active and inactive recipients and less active and inactive recipients, all right? So, and yeah, a few things to mention before I end my webinar. Um, when you are setting your delivery servers, all right, you need to set at least two delivery servers for this purpose. You need to have different uh, sender domain, sender IP addresses, DKIM domain, sender uh, PTR domain, and tracking domain for each one of your delivery server, okay? So if you are using abc.com as a sender domain for this delivery server, you shouldn't use that domain for this one. Otherwise, uh, the sender reputation will be merged and you will be having problems, all right? And the second thing is, you know, still delivery volume plays an important role for some specific ISPs. Therefore, I wouldn't send 1 million emails from day one I would send a few thousand emails on day one and then I would increase the volume uh, by 30% or 35% day by day on my high quality delivery server. Uh, and in the meantime, I would watch my engagement rate like opens, clicks, opt-outs, hard bounce detections and spam complaints to see if I should in continue increasing the daily volume day by day, or if I should keep it consistent, or if I should decrease it, all right? So I hope the information in this webinar is useful to you. Just give it a try and you will see the change in your sender reputation pretty quickly, actually. And if you have any questions, this is my contact information. Feel free to reach me out through any of these channels. And if you like this webinar replay, please like it or subscribe to my YouTube channel below and I will be happy to deliver you more similar webinars in coming weeks. All right. See you in the next one and stay safe. Have a great day.